All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop. And as you can see, here's the cow panel. I got it uh, sprayed with etch primer. I got still got to put surface prime surfacing primer on it. And I pulled the fenders back off because uh, one thing when I was buffing these fenders, I cut through the clear right down through here. You can see that dark line. But another thing is these fenders are showing a lot of scratches. So what I think I'm gonna do is I don't have enough gray to repaint the fenders. So I'm gonna mask off the gray. I'm gonna sand this back down. I'm gonna put uh, primer on it, wet sand it, seal it, and then recoat it with the blue. And uh, a lot of work, but uh, there's a lot of places on these fenders. These fenders have been painted twice, and I'm still not happy with them. Um, show you a few little boo-boos. Uh, I don't know if that was part of the where I buffed it, polished it, or what, but there's a lot of little scratches right up through here. It's hard to see with this light. Uh, let's see. Right in here is a lot of little pops you see where I didn't really get good clear coverage on it and uh, a lot of scratches lots and lots of scratches now this is sanding scratches so I remember now when I uh, was doing these fenders I skipped that step where you prime it in uh, 400 wet sand I skipped all that I just uh, thought I could get by but you can't on this one, I didn't get a good clear coverage right up on this top edge right here. It's real dry. So, same thing on this. I burnt through right in here. And uh, so, we're going to be spending a little bit of time on these fenders. And you can see where I hit them again with a second coat of blue. I kind of oversprayed my gray right here. I don't think I'm gonna fool with that because it's not really gonna be where you can see it when it's all together. Um, unless you open the door and just look at it. I mean, if you're looking for it, you can find it, but chances are, you're not really gonna, nobody's ever gonna pay any attention to that. And that's just a lot of gray. I don't have but about a pint of gray left and that's already pre-mixed. And I've still got to paint the uh, gas door and the tailgate stripe and I'm praying I have enough left to do that so I think I've got enough blue left to do the fenders again the cow and the hood and I got to touch up that little spot on the door I messed up you remember uh, way back when when I was trying to put the window in this door I chipped the paint right here I'm going to try to fix that without having to respray this whole door. I don't know how that's going to go. But we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to be working on this and I'll bring you along as we tear back into it. Well, I think we're going to get a storm here in a minute. It looks awful dark back north of us there. I've been working on these fenders for a couple of hours and I've got them sanded. I've got the gray tape to mask. And I cut through to the metal in a few places, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some etch primer. And tomorrow we'll try to get some primer surface around here. So I just want to make sure that I got the majority of this. This white here is clear, but uh, it's sanded well. I don't believe it's going to peel. Got a little bit up in here, but for the majority of it, I got most of the clear off and even most of the blue off. This is the sealer, the epoxy, the black. Got some blue left here, but I think it'll cover up fine. So, uh, bring it back tomorrow. Maybe when we we'll get some uh, primer surfacer shot on this thing. Alright, my least favorite job, masking. Hopefully I did a good enough job, I won't get a bunch of overspray all over the back. I don't really want to repaint it. 
but I think everything is pretty much ready to spray some primer on and uh, I cut all this extra off of this one but I wish I hadn't because I cut it short well actually I cut the, the whole sheet short when I cut it so I end up having to do something different over here than a lot more masking tape and I probably used about a half a roll of this mask this yellow masking tape and this stuff's about eight dollars a roll so it's not cheap to do these uh, masking jobs so uh, anyway, I'm going to get in here and mix up some primer and get it sprayed, and I'll bring you back. Alright, got three coats of primer on it. A few little specks here and there. Not too damn bad, but notice why I've... Ooh, focus, focus, focus. There you go, focus on that. They don't like that gray worth a damn. Look how dirty that lens is. Well, I don't know if maybe you can tell them little ridges. I couldn't feel that with my hand when I was sanding, but I can sure see it now. Hopefully that'll sand out. Got the cow done and the other one done. Hopefully I didn't get too much overspray on the back side. So uh, this next thing we're gonna do is when they dry tomorrow, or maybe even this evening, maybe. Uh, I probably no, I'll probably let them cure overnight. Tomorrow we'll come back. We'll wet sand them with a 400, and I'll have to re-mask everything to paint the blue. We'll get the blue painted on everything, and then we'll be unmasking it. I'm going to try to blend the clear onto the gray, so I'll, I'll do a little bit of light sanding right there where it meets the gray, and then I'll blend the clear, and I'm going to try a trick that uh, my friend Pete over at DIY Auto School showed about taking the uh, paint, uh, what you clean your gun with, when you get done spray and you clear you dump you clear out pour your cleaner in the gun and come back and just kind of lightly go over where you want to blend with it and i'm going to try that and hopefully that'll work because i really don't want to have to sand that clear off that gray uh, just a lot of work and probably be too late by then to really do any good and i can't i don't want to have to go buy gray uh, stuff's about a hundred and something dollars. I think I give a hundred or it might have been ninety dollars for that half gallon. It might have been a hundred and eighty a gallon. It's a little cheaper than the blue, but I don't want to have to go buy a quart of it. It may not match. You know how it is. Stuff don't match right. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next part when we get some paint back on these.